every state health department has an immunization program. That program has many functions, educational, for example, and for many underserved persons, it actually provides the vaccines, works through state, uh, works through city and county health departments to get the vaccines out, translates the CDC's recommendations. And it does that for the entire age spectrum, from infancy to senior citizenship. And whenever we reach out with a vaccine to a new population that hasn't received that vaccine, the state health department and the immunization program play a special role in reaching out to the persons involved, as well as to the practitioners to get them all up to speed about what the standard of practice is. Under normal circumstances, when we can actually send the vaccine out to doctors' offices, it plays major, uh, its major role is to facilitate, coordinate, catalyze, and the like, because the doctors out there are actually doing most of the vaccination. Uh, and if it doesn't do that, the whole system kind of doesn't work and we don't reach out to all these people. The director of the state's immunization program plays an even larger role, a very central role in organizing the delivery of the vaccine, its prioritization, its uh, monitoring of vaccine safety, the distribution of the vaccine, accounting for the vaccine because the taxpayers have all paid for this now. So all of that has to be coordinated and you have to keep very, very careful records of that. And then you report everything back, uh, not only to the state, to the state government, but to the CDC. So we can see how we're doing nationally and the states can be compared in their function in delivering the vaccines to which populations. So over the years, we've developed new routine vaccines. Many of them have gone to teenagers and this was a new group that had to be vaccinated. And teenagers not only have to be vaccinated, you have to corral them first. And in order to do that, uh, you have to reach out to them and let them know that this is now normal. It's the social norm to be vaccinated and not to be vaccinated is not to be part of the in-group. So it's part of the role of the state's immunization program to get good messaging out such that teenagers feel it's the right thing to do and they're comfortable and they're reassured that when their parents take them by the ear and bring them into the doctor, that this is going to happen and it's a good thing and it's happening to all their friends also. So we have two issues that are interlocked here. We've been talking about COVID vaccines and how special they are and how they have to be delivered and organized by the state health department. But the other thing that's happened is during COVID, we all shut ourselves in. We didn't go to medical care and we developed telemedicine through the computer, but we haven't figured out yet how to vaccinate people through the computer. You actually have to show up. And as a result, infants, children, adolescents, and adults dipped in their vaccination and the rates of vaccination fell in this country. We're now trying to bring those rates back up so these bad diseases don't come in from other parts of the world and cause epidemics. And once again, the state health department is absolutely central to this effort, organizing it, encouraging it, reminding doctors that they all have to do that when they see their patients, keeping track of it, finding out where there are pockets of unimmunized children and going to them and providing those services. So at this time, there's a double reason for the state health department to be central. COVID vaccine itself, but all those other routine vaccines where we're falling behind, we have to bring those rates up. Young people barely know about these bad diseases that the vaccines prevent. But it wasn't so long ago, two, three years ago, that we had big outbreaks of measles in this country. We hadn't seen measles in 25 years. And that was because some parents hadn't vaccinated their children. These measles viruses were brought into this country, got into those populations and spread widely, caused closing of schools, children being hospitalized, children at risk of the complications of measles. This could happen with polio with diphtheria, all kinds of illnesses 
could return potentially because they're still out in there, out, out, out in the world there, and they don't need passports. They can be brought into this country and then spread among the unvaccinated. That would turn the clock, medically speaking, back 40 and 50 years. We got rid of those diseases. Parents don't have to worry about them the way my parents did. And we need to keep our guard up. And the way to do that is universal vaccination. <laughs>